Hey everyone, welcome back to This Week at the Chamber. This is our last one for April, and boy, has it been a good month for us. Uh, so let's just get right into it. What do you say? Hey, let's let's do. Thanks, Wilson. Um, we've got the Municipality Resources Conference tomorrow morning um, on the 27th at the JP8 Center, and this will be the first time we've brought all of our municipal mayors, city councils, and department heads together to learn about all the various resources that are available to them from uh, the Arkansas Economic Development Commission, uh, from the uh, Center for Community and Economic Development at UCA, and our uh, partners from uh, all of the utilities. Be a good opportunity for them to learn what's available so that they can take their communities to the next level. We're excited about having about 55 people up uh, for the for the first ever session. Nice, and then we've got two ribbon cuttings. That's right, Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday's with Cromwell Architects Engineers at 1130. They actually designed our courthouse here, so they're gonna have their ribbon cutting there at the courthouse. And then followed by Thursday morning at 9 a.m. is Casa of North Arkansas. So uh, two ribbon cuttings. We're getting back to it. I know we've been saying that for a few months now, but uh, you, I think you're going to see at least one a week. This week we got two. Absolutely. And, and uh, we're also going to take a tour of potential business and technology parks. Uh, the economic development uh, team is going to come together and uh, Wednesday afternoon, and we're going to uh, physically set foot out on some potential properties that will give us a product to sell in the market here in the Harrison region. Yep. And again, you know, part of our regional aspect of economic development, everything that we hear says regional is your strength, right? And so this year we've met with Branson. Last week we met with Diamond City. Uh, Thursday we meet with Barreville. They just got a new chamber director. His name's Dean Lee, and they're having a drop-in at the Bearville Chamber. So we'll make our way over there to, to visit and catch up and uh, learn about about him and the focus of the Bearville Chamber. So, Yeah, busy, busy week again, uh, but all leading to the fact that we're really taking the lead as the Harrison Regional Chamber of Commerce and Economic and Business Development. We're happy to do that. Yep. And on that note... Actually, we've got a follow-up conversation for you today with Scott and Melissa. We we showed a clip from them. Actually, they were live in Little Rock for the Mid-South Basic. Uh, but we've got their their follow-up notes and some of their some of their top things. In fact, we recorded for too long. You're only going to see a snippet of it, um, just because there was a lot. So here they are. Yeah, I think I uh, shared at our economic development. Um, we're doing a lot of things right. Um, and we got a lot of momentum, but uh, we're drastically underfunded in what we need to do. Um, probably one of the things that was most exciting for me was the dinner we had with uh, John Chadwell and just kind of picking his brain on what they're doing in Newport to drive economic development. Um, so I think that confidentiality is a huge piece in economic development and we got to continue to drive that point home to all the people that you know we can't go out and talk about something that's coming to town because if they find out about it maybe the last time we get to talk about something coming to town data is really important and i think that's where that business retention and expansion and that was another thing I picked up on that report that like the uh, Jonesboro Chambers doing where they they provide a report for all of the members that participate. And it's it's um, you know, it's not by a specific name of a company, but it gives them an idea about what their wage rates are in that particular area. So, um, you know, I I. I wasn't sure what to expect, but I think I got away. I take away from that a lot more than I expected when it was all said and done. Let, let me ask if you, uh, during the course of the of the week, with all of the speakers uh, that you had, and then with the forty five other folks that were there, did you pick up on the complexity 
of the economic development process? Yeah, no, it's a science and, and not an art, you know, and uh, in order to be good at it, and and I think, Melissa, you've heard me talk about this before, is that's really what we've got to get to is, is some expertise in economic development. And, you know, there's community development and there's economic development, and both those places have their, pl- both of those have their place. And, uh, but economic development is something that takes some, um, experience, some education, and um, some discipline. You know, one of the things I took away was the guy who was the guy, Melissa, that talked about getting the, um, oh, was it Rum Burger? I think it was Rum Burger that talked about getting the Toyota plant in um, Tupelo, Mississippi. Mm-hmm. And it took him seven or eight years to finally get that um, completed. And you know, it um, was almost completed, and the Great Recession hit, and it sat vacant for two years with with no movement. Yeah. Well, and and there's a lot of relationship development that takes a lot of time. Um, it's uh, similar to say a foundation that's uh, working to raise money for the foundation. Well, we're working to increase our economic development here. So we have to create those relationships across the state and, um, and foster those relationships, stay in communication with them. You can't just say, well, we, we talked to them two years ago and they know what we have here in Harrison and then never, connect with them again. You've got, you've got to do that. And we had an example after an example, after an example of industries do or or, um, new, new business to a community. Some say there is some company or some corporation or some manufacturing company that is considering our area, Boone County. They do 90% of the research on your community before you have, before any of us, Bob Chamber, Mayor, County Judge, before any of us know that they've even looked at us. The other thing I wrote down in my notes was, you know, what we probably should also try to start doing is, and this may be a leadership class, but they talk about how do we find out who are the new people coming to town and get them connected at certain events. So like maybe we need to have a, at a football game, a Harrison football game, maybe we need to invite all the new people that have come to Harrison that are in, you know, management positions, leadership positions, um, physicians to try to get those people connected to these new people. Because if we don't get these people connected, and kind of see what this community looks like. If they don't love this community because they're from this community, they may be more likely to leave this community. That's an excellent idea. Yeah. And, and I think to sum up kind of what, you, what you're talking about, and it goes back to the issue I mentioned about complexity. Actually being successful in recruiting a new company to come and cut the ribbon of those that you talk to, it's maybe one in a hundred. Of those that you don't talk to, it's maybe one in 10,000. You just never know. But once you get it, the value is there in long-term tax base, employee base, schools, hospitals, uh, the prosperity, uh, new quality of life. But it's a needle in a haystack to find one that you actually recruit that will have their employee base provide jobs in retail and support services.